Well, hello everybody, coming to you from the heart of Little Havana in Miami. Here I am with fellow YouTuber from Miami, Elder and Leticia, and their channel is uh, The Trips of Elder and Leticia. Let's walk around and Hi, check everybody. it out. <laughs> hey, Hi. say hello. Hello. Hi. Bye. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV. My RV. Wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. Well, today we are kind of going to pretend to be tourists here in Little Havana as we pass by this Seiba tree on our way to 8th Street, Calle Ocho, which is pretty much the main drag. And I had never seen this statue before. We are going to go to the main touristy area here, which is between 13th and 15th avenues. This right here is part of a memorial to the heroes of the Bay of Pigs invasion, which was a failed attempt by the Cuban exiles to overthrow Fidel Castro back in 1961. They even have an eternal flame to remember those who fell in combat. Okay, I'm not kidding guys, in that radio shack back there, that's where I bought my first video camera back in 1989-1990. So um, uh, this area is pretty historic for me too. As a video producer, there's Elder back there. The travels of uh, the trips of Elder and Leticia. I'm gonna put a link below uh, to their channel. Uh, we are um, exploring this area together today. As I mentioned before, this is a very touristy area, but if that's even possible, it kind of feels authentic. I mean, considering it is mostly catered to the numerous tour buses that stop here. This here is a fruteria, fruit shop. Almost every home back in Cuba used to have that picture of the sacred heart of Jesus. It's sometimes hidden, by the way. And there's even more stuff here in the back. They even have chickens. I feel like I'm in Key West. La Casa de los Trucos, um, that place is pretty popular during Halloween. They have also a bunch of cigar factories in the area, all to keep the tradition alive. The area is not as homogeneously Cuban as it used to be in the 60s and 70s, even the 80s. Today it is pretty much a melting pot of nearly every Central and South American nationality and culture. Still, the touristy businesses tend to lean more towards the Cuban folklore, it being the original settlement that gave the neighborhood its name. And don't get me wrong, I'm not being negative when I say touristy, but I still think you'll get a more authentic experience maybe two miles west of here. So this is the historic, uh, historic uh, Cuban area. Uh, you know, the first Cuban immigration back in the 1960s, this is where they settled. Uh, right around here, this, that, that's why it's called uh, Little Havana. And uh, I think it is time to order a uh, Cuban coffee, don't you think? This is the archetypical Miami Cuban cafeteria. Pretty much every Cuban restaurant in Miami will have one of these outdoor counters where you can order your Cuban coffee, your pastelitos, croquetas, a Cuban sandwich. All right, everybody, this is what we call a colada, but do not drink the whole thing. This is meant to be shared. It's very strong coffee. And here's... My friends, my new friends, Elder and Leticia, drinking Cuban coffee in Little Havana. And here's the typical peanut vendor, immortalized by the famous traditional song of the money, same name. Money, cero se va. Rally, it's very rich, a one dollar. A one dollar, dame un cucurucho ahí para. Cacahuete, pina, one dollar, one dollar, what? Vamos, vamos. Ahí voy. Gracias. Cacahuete, pina, one dollar, one dollar. It's very touristy, but it's somewhat authentic too. So, a lot of those things. And this is the famous uh, the part of the dominoes where the, the old timers uh, play dominoes. It's 
um, Domino Park, or it's also called Maxi Domino's Park, I think, too. And, uh, there you see them. It's uh, the favorite uh, Cuban pastime besides baseball. It's uh, playing dominoes. But some ice cream. Well, here we have the Azúcar Ice Cream Company, a relatively new addition to the area, founded in 2011. They have all these Latin-inspired flavors. Right next door, here we have the Ball and Chain which originally opened back in the 1930s and it was a very famous nightclub back then up until around the 1960s when it became a furniture store of all things. It reopened a couple of years ago again as the Bolan chain but now with the Cuban motif and it has become a very popular place on weekend nights with modern Cuban cuisine and live music. Tower Theater. It is also significant in the area because it was one of the first theaters to offer movies with Spanish subtitles way back in the 60s. Southwest 8th Street here, Calle Ocho, also has its own version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Really shooting the, the local hero here in Miami. And of course, Celia Cruz. they have this mural here with Washington and then we have uh, Abe Lincoln and of course then you have uh, Benny More, Celia Cruz and uh, all the all the Cuban celebrities. Actually I should correct myself it is not only Cuban celebrities it is actually celebrities and prominent people from all over Latin America. Selena, Carlos Gardel, and Martí. Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV Yeah! Uh, hi everybody! Um, please, uh, when you got a chance, go to the trips of Elder and Leticia It's a YouTube channel, she's Leticia, my wife um, it's, it's about uh, trips to different states and cities of the United States of America, of America. I, I know that you want to enjoy. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, from Little Havana, Miami, <laughs> this is Traveling Robert signing off. <laughs> See you on the road. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little slice of Miami. Uh, this whole Cuban Hispanic area is huge, extending many miles to the west and south of here. But by coming to Cayocho on 15th, you get a glimpse of what it is all about. 
If this felt too touristy perhaps, well, just pick any corner cafeteria west or southwest of here and they might not have a guy singing the Guantanamera, but the Cuban coffee is going to taste exactly the same. Well, that's all folks. Uh, do remember to subscribe if you haven't, and if you liked it, uh, well, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even Snapchat, so follow me there too if you will. I am now Traveling Robert in all of the social networks, and you can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com. Join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding. Riding with my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my